I mean, I had some concerns that coming from a European country, it wouldn't have the strength to deal with a hardwood like olive, but I haven't seen it have any trouble with anything that I've put to it. So my name is Andy Davies with Little Eagle Bush Regeneration. Uh, we do conservation, private landholder conservation in uh, uh, southwest Sydney, concentrating on the Cumberland Plain woodland. So for this type of work, it's primarily managing a weed called African olive, and we primarily use chainsaws and cut and paint, which is labour intensive and slow. So African olive is a invasive tree from the east coast of the African continent up into the Middle East and across into Asia and it is a very good ecosystem engineer so essentially it comes into a woodland ecosystem and takes what should be an open pasture with scattered trees with a roughly 30 to 50 percent canopy cover and turns that into 80 plus percent canopy cover which excludes all of the native ground covers which is vast majority of the diversity in a woodland ecosystem and turns it into a monoculture of African olive which excludes all light and biological activity in the plant community and in the soil. Priority is to introduce light so light penetration to the soil is the most important factor in restoring the Cumberland Plain woodland. Removing the, the majority of the olive to allow light penetration to reach the soil and encourage the native ground covers to germinate and re regenerate in those areas that have previously been bare soil under a dense African olive canopy. So currently I own a TMK300, which is basically replaced to a large extent the primary weed clearing with a chainsaw. Basically, it takes out the majority of the biomass of the African olive and lantana on the site and allows us to follow up quickly to complete the primary works. So Little Eagle's priorities are on maximising the best outcome for the ecosystems that we work in. So we won't use a method that will damage the ecosystem excessively just to get the job done. We prefer to work slower and more sensitively in order to maximise the success of the conservation efforts on that ecosystem. The primary weed control with African olive that we employ on this site is we come in with the TMK tree shear, snip out the trees, pile them up, and then we follow up with a chainsaw, cut the stumps flush to the ground and paint herbicide on the stump to kill the tree, which then leaves us with a clear area without jagged stumps sticking up and waste left all over the ground, which makes it easier for follow-up secondary weed control and maintenance weed control. So after primary weed, using the method of the TMK tree shear with a follow-up chainsaw stumping technique, you'll go from a native ground cover percentage of less than 5% with bare earth being the other 90 plus percent of the area, you'll still be at 5% native ground cover with 95% exotics. But then over time, as those exotic herbaceous weeds fill their ecological role in the area, they'll decline in cover percentage and your native pasture species will increase. So within three years of the primary weed clearing, you'll go from 5% native to 95% native ground covers. The TMK tree shears vastly increase the speed of clearing. It's uh, reduced labour costs and it's freed up my staff to work on other sites and also reduced wear and tear on people by concentrating the wear and tear on machinery. It allows me to do work in isolation whilst my staff are elsewhere, earning money on other sites and then it allows them to come in and quickly complete the primary works, which means I can stretch the number of staff I've got across multiple sites instead of having to concentrate a large number of staff on one site. So Forest Centre were actually very, very helpful. Basically, I think it was sort of one phone call, had a chat and then ordered a machine, sent through the details on the pins for the excavator, had the plate fitted, had everything sorted, ready to go. So I basically got a ready to go product that I just had to hook some hoses up to, and then I was away. I think TMK's made a really good product here. It's, uh, it's robust, 
it does what it says it is going to do. I mean, I had some concerns that coming from a European country, it wouldn't have the strength to deal with a hardwood like olive, but I haven't seen it have any trouble with anything that I've put to it. I would highly recommend the TMK tree shear as a very viable technique for primary weed control. It's a very effective, quick, and efficient technique to achieve your primary weed control objectives. I'm racking my brain trying to think of something bad. <laughs> uh, the only problem I had was actually getting it originally. There was a wait time getting the machine because the Forest Centre had sold out of all of the ones. So I had to wait for it to come from overseas. I love that there's one thing. Yeah, there. <laughs> sort your supply lines out. <laughs>